Hi, Cynthia here. Today I'll be showing you how to make these plastic canvas crosses. And for these, you are going to need some plastic canvas, of course, some ribbon, a pair of sciz big scissors, large size, a pair of small pointy scissors, because we'll be doing some intricate cutting, and a large eye blunt end needle. For the particular size I am showing you how to make today, I am using a seven count plastic canvas, and seven count basically means that there are seven holes per inch. I like to work with the stiff canvas, but the only problem with that is it only comes what with What we want to do is count 21 holes in one direction and we will make sure we don't cut on the 21st hole. We'll cut on the 22nd and go straight across. Okay, now that we cut it lengthwise and there are 21 holes this way, we want to count 13 this way. So we will cut on the 14th row of holes up. So we end up with the size that we need. And it's important to know the number of holes in case you plan on making different size crosses because they do sell plastic canvas with either larger or smaller holes. If you are using seven count plastic canvas, it might be easier for you to just cut it two inches wide and three and a quarter inches deep. I'm going to cut out the cross shape now using the small pointy scissors. The important thing about when you're cutting the canvas is making the edges smooth so the ribbon doesn't get caught on the ends. And don't worry if you can't see each cut I'm doing because at the end of the video I'll hold up the pattern that I made that shows you how to cut and how to sew the canvas. And then you could just pause it, print the screen, and use it for your own personal use. And you will get faster at this with practice. For the seven count plastic canvas, we use ribbon that is one eighth inch thick and it's cut to a length of 72 inches, which is six feet long. Make sure the ribbon fits in the eye of the needle, and I like to attach it as so. Just catch a little bit of the end, maybe an eighth of an inch, and pull the needle through. That way it's nice and attached for you. And I'm using these particular colors so you could see what I'm doing real clearly. What I do is in the center, you could push the needle through any hole, it really doesn't matter, and one or two across, and then pull it through the same side. I'm just attaching the ribbon to the cross so it won't pull through. And also, I attach it this way. You go through the ribbon and the plastic canvas on the same side, like that, and just pull through. supposed to. Okay, so your ribbon is nice and flat right now and it's I think it's easier to work with when it is flat. What I do is hold it like that and start on the corner. Yeah, I prefer to start at the bottom left. And there you go, it's flat right there and it's attached and it won't pull through. And I like to flip the cross over and go catty corner like that. And work in that hole. And then just keep pulling it through. And then flip it over again. And since I like one continuous line of ribbon, I will do it one more time right there in that first hole. And 
and then you just keep like working in steps. If you did the first hole, do the second one now. And flip it again and just keep working in order. And try to keep the ribbon flat as you go. Okay, this is an important part right here. Okay, you're done stitching that last hole there. What you would do is go across like this and flip it over to that corner. I'm gonna flip it over and go to the corner like that. And start, now you'll be on the right hand side on the bottom hole. And since you always want a continuous line, which there is not one on the first stitch, you do that first stitch always twice. Make sure ribbon's flat, pull it through nice and smooth right there. Then flip it over and go to the next hole. Okay, now it's your last stitch. What you do is turn this around again. Turn this around again. And hold that there. I like to get the end of the needle and go on top of the canvas but under the ribbon and bring it through where the center section is. And just pull it gently. And to finish off, you go through that top center hole again. And of course, make sure that it's not twisted. And it's all smooth now. And for it not to bunch up, because sometimes if you pull it too tight, it will mess up. So, so it won't do that. I go around again with the ribbon and go through the front and pull it through. And that way it won't pull out on you. And there you go. Okay, now that, that we are done sewing this, cut the very edge of the ribbon at an angle so it's less likely to fray. And there you have it bunch of plastic canvas crosses. You could either hang them on your rear view mirror or use them for a Bible bookmark. They also make great gifts for Easter or Christmas. I wanted to show you this. You could even buy the 10 count plastic canvas and make little tiny crosses. You, they also sell the 1 16th inch ribbon and of course you'll need a smaller needle. And you cut the plastic canvas the same as the other size, 13 across and 21 lengthwise. You have so many options when it comes to colors. Each store, Walmart, Joann's and Michael's have different hues 
of each color. So you can mix and match. And all they also have ribbon also. I used to make these for gifts at our local church. What we would do is print out a 4x6 photo, open it in your JASK or Photoshop program, use any color you want, any background, and we would write down, this is a bookmark made especially for you, especially for you, and we would put it in a Ziploc baggie, as so, and add a cross to it, and tape it up and give it as a thank you for visiting our church gift. Thanks for watching.